What is up everybody, this is the Hot Dog Man 17 and welcome back to another Minecraft video. It's been a while, it's been about two years, but I'm still keeping up with Minecraft and uh, enjoying it. And I'm glad to see everyone come back to watch my video. I'm really happy about that. Thanks. So, uh, there's not much else to do during this quarantine, so I thought I'd just hop back on YouTube, give it a try, try out my editing skills, video making skills, see if they have improved. And uh, without further ado, let's get right into it. So, we are on my Minecraft realm, actually. I have reopened my realm and made it into a survival world. Which is, uh, I learned a lot more fun than a creative world. Because you gotta work for all your materials, you get to build up massive buildings like this, and it's just all worthwhile. It's much, it it's worth much more once you get this finished. And uh, I want to give you guys a tour of it. This is a pretty fun world. I enjoy playing on it with my friends. And uh, you can see that two on right now, Pro Archers and Amish JJ. You should remember Pro Archers from uh, my previous videos from about two years ago. Amish JJ was never in one of my videos, but she's been a long time friend. But uh, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. I'll start the tour off by uh, this right here. This is Spawn Point. I believe like right here is the actual spawn. So you drop right in here and you start the world. And we got another portal right here to lead to the nether hub. Which connects to a bunch of other places. But uh, recently we had a wither escape through the end. And cause a bit of destruction here. So you can see he kind of blew up the whole river. <laughs> but uh, it was a good time fighting it. I always enjoy fighting withers. Even if they're really difficult. So uh, let's move on to the next building here. The pretty noticeable one. This is inspired by a Macy's, but it also has influences from Walmart, because Walmart sells everything. But uh, I like the Macy's name, so I took a four-letter name. Boom. Eric's. Inside, we have a bunch of stores. We have a food court here. This is basically a store that just sells literally anything you can find. We sell shulker boxes and uh, elytras, which have sold out. From a recent end expedition. We've got armor around here and tools to buy. No one's bought shulker boxes yet. But uh, that's alright. They will when they need it. But we've got a bunch of food for sale here. Uh, we got some golden carrots. No one buys them. Even though they're a great food source. Shoot. I thought those would sell more. But uh, it's alright. People buy what they buy. We got a little ATM there. We got a redstone shop. Over here is an appliance shop. Pretty cool. We sell like all the different workstations, tools you or blocks that you need to make more blocks, basically. So uh, everything else is closed. That's the only part of the store that's open. It's been a work in progress. We've got banners for sale here, and then we got a bunch of natural resources for sale. This floor here is full of tools and armor, and this is also another work in progress. So uh. Let's go continue on with the tour down at the town. So we move in here. And the next building you'll see is an attorney's office and a courthouse. This courthouse is uh, used to stop anyone from fighting or any wars breaking out because we really don't want any of the stuff around here to be destroyed. So uh, here's a little community gardening place where you can pick up some free seeds and stuff if you need it. We got a mine here. Over here is actually Slybrow's food shop, which he is still working on. And uh, Queen Candy's house is right here. I helped her build this. You remember Queen Candy. She's been in a lot of my other videos as well. I'll give you a little sneak peek inside. It's a nice building. She did a good job on it. And then the next place I want to show you is over here. This is a uh, Aptix Gaming's house. He's a new friend of mine. He wasn't in any of my other videos, but uh, he has played a little and uh, enjoyed having him on the realm. Now I'm going to take you to the town hall, which was the first ever building on this Minecraft realm. This was built by Slybro, and then uh, we've taken it over, and we've got some storage here. Uh, ender chest, furnaces, some beds in case anyone needs to 
sleep. This is kind of the community center here. Uh, the next part I want to show you, we got another uh, shop right here. And this is what I love about the realm, is that anyone can have a shop, they can sell whatever they want. This shop happens to be selling quote-unquote suits. It's just, uh, uh, what's it called? Leather armor. That's black. And, uh, it's just gotcha suit. Copyright. Four iron per piece. Sold by Helios. Now, uh, here is a, uh, out of ideas machine. So if you're out of ideas, you could pick a size, someone stole the button, and, uh, you just would dispense an idea on you. Right now we have those in there. Here's another shop that sells rotten flesh and leather pants. Very, very useful items. Here is our Ender Dragon Egg Park. We have the first ever dragon egg on display up there. It's hard to see at night because it blends in with the sky. And then over here is our second one, where we got our first dragon head, and our first elytra that's on display. Next we have Matt's Shack. It's not clickbait. And then we have a tombstone for dead memes. So, uh, yeah. Very involved with internet and stuff. We used to have whatever the current meme was. It used to be right there. And then we just decided to stop, so we built a tombstone instead. We have little horse stables here. Next is a fishing hut built by Pro Archers and Queen Candy has a restaurant here, which you got from the idea machine. And that pretty much concludes the main town. We haven't built much here. We mostly spread out, done our own projects. But uh, over here is Big E Animations. He's another new friend. This is his house. Uh, he also does YouTube. And you guys should check him out if you ever get the chance. Now next we come over to Emmy JJ's mountain. She's transformed this mountain into a beautiful little home for her. And if we come inside here, or let's first go down here to our little stables. It's a nice idea to tuck it underneath. And then uh, here inside her house, she's got a, used to have a little animal pen, little bedroom. I'll give you a quick little run through storage area. She's got some farms up in that area. But uh, I don't want to spoil too much of the house unless she wants to do YouTube someday. But next over here we got a little rail line. And let's take you to the zombie spawner. It's not much but a, it's a spawner. Which is rare. How did I get this rotten flesh? So this rail line was built by Just Beat Ya who was not in one of my, any of my previous videos, but he's a tremendous builder. He's been a great addition to the realm. He's Ever since he's been on, everyone's been playing much more. And I really appreciate him. So let's take you over to the zombie spawner. I built this branch of the rail network to get over to the zombie spawner. I ran out of rails and never came back to it though. <laughs> so it kind of stops a bit short right here. So let's pick that up. And uh... Yeah, zombie spawner's just over here. Take a left. Then we have a bubble elevator here. So we can go down or up. We want to go down. So we just hold shift to make sure that we don't take damage on the magma block. Then we got a bunch of zombies here to go. So it's a... It's a good working spawner. Okay, and we also linked up some spiders here. So we got some string. But how this works is uh, the zomb we found a zombie spawner. They pop into existence and then they got funneled into a tunnel, shot up, and brought all the way over here. And they drop to the bottom to take enough damage so only one hit of the sword would uh, kill them. Here they are. It looks like this guy is deciding to. There we go. So let's close that and head back down. So yeah, this was uh, probably one of the first farms. The first, like, kind of mechanical, I guess you say, farms. Like, we got hoppers and everything. But uh, let's head back, and I'm going to take you to the city now, which was built by Just Beat You. So we got to take, take our minecart. 
and head all the way back. And I like taking the minecart in, because it's a unique perspective. Now we also have a bridge, and it's much it's a much quicker route to the, the city, but you get a nice view if you take the rail line. So let's eat. Yeah, just be is done a great job. It there used to be a village there, but then the villagers sadly didn't make it. But uh, he has a bunch of shops over there as well, which so a bunch of leather, iron armor, chain armor, saddles, useful stuff that uh, some early game players need. There we go, got that paper. There's a starter base. Let's uh, go down here, and I'll show you it. Oh yeah, Mr. JJ's back. Yeah, people hop on and off the realm. It's nice just coming on, playing with some friends. But I'll show you just be his base, or starter base. He's moved out of this. This is the first place he built. He's got a little wheat field, fireplace, bed here. Oops. There you go. Enchantment table, some storage. It's a nice little home. Ooh. But, uh, yeah, this was. He spent a lot of time building this area. And he's made a. It, it looks really great. That's all I can say. He has two libraries here. Looks like a creeper's been here. Or he sells some books, and he has another enchanting station. And uh, he's got a little rope rules book up here. Don't steal, don't break any blocks, don't harass or inflict pain on other on to librarians. Any violations will result in Helios's discretion. But yeah, he's got a little guard tower here, and he's got a nice little place here where he was trying to get an achievement, getting all the wool. Creepers have loved this place more than his villagers did, taking it over. He's got another storage area here, and now he's got a coliseum, which looks really fantastic. I've used it to make some events. We've had some PvP tournaments. Red team versus blue team was our most recent one. And here's some locker. Just beat ya, Pro Archers, Big E, MHJJ, Dog, Dog, Man, Candy, I've all mentioned. These two I haven't. Intel Gamer is another new friend of mine who participates in some events. Claudia Rhino is actually Piglet Fun. Piglet Fun uh, got an Xbox account so she could play on the realm, but uh, has yet to name it Piglet Fun. She went with the user gen or the random generated name. Right here is the city mine. I'll take you down. I get to actually decorate it down here and it looks really nice. So he's decorated the caves, so he's got some beds here to the rest. He's got some strip mines in his own minecart rail. And a little smeltery and storage area. Let's take the elevator up. And uh, next where I'm going to take you is my area. It's my neck of the woods. And uh, yeah, I planted all those trees to those woods. So let's hop over here. Here's Titan Lord's house. She hasn't been on in a while. Now, I took some black sheep because I'm going to make a sheep farm sh soon. So I just kept the black sheep so I wouldn't have to use any ink sacks. Ink sacks are one of the items in which I uh, keep and hoard. That, that and iron, because if I ever need to make a huge project using iron, then I'm going to kind of freak out as I drain my iron supply. And we don't have an iron farm yet. Oh no. This thing just jammed. Alright. But this is a zero tick sugar cane farm. These storage. Yes, yeah, so this is a zero tick sugar cane farm. I use this to trade with my librarians. I think we can turn it off now. But yeah, I have a whole, this is where I keep all my villagers in this little cave area down here. I decorated it all. We have every single enchantment 
or every single maximum gem, and I should say. So if you need Bane of Arthropods 5 for some reason, then you can come get here. We have farmers all the way down here. So I can get a bunch of potatoes and carrots and beetroot and trade them all to get some more emeralds. I have a little mine down here. So each time I come down, I keep trying to fly with my elytra down. I have yet to make it all the way down. I've made some progress. I'm like all the way down here once, but then crashed into the roof. It's a fine art. I've just been mining down here to collect stone for a big project, which I will show you shortly right after this. And we actually fought our first wither down there. The wither got the better of us, but we were able to manage to kill it. We've got a nether portal there, and here's my armory. So I can get all the tools I need here, and all the weapons. Like, this is the trait I love, just get, being able to get a diamond sword and axe for a few emeralds. Like, that is amazing in the long run, because emeralds is a- or not emeralds, diamonds are a currency on the realm. So if you don't have to use your money to make stuff, then it's perfect. This is my bees. I've looked far and wide for the bees. And I got them, and I've just been hoarding honey box because we don't have a slime farm yet. So if I need to make a- oh, That's a glitch here. Where the honey blocks disappear if you shift or if you craft them. I've lost a lot of honey blocks that way. But uh, let's take you up to the uh, big project I want to show you. Oh, wait, actually, I want to take you to one other area first. This is Pearl Archer's big floating island, which looks pretty good. He actually. This is probably the best touch. He drained the water here, so it looked like the island actually came out of the ground. That was a great move there. But, uh, there's one other building I want to show you. It's not that impressive, but it was a fun little build. And I'll bring you right over here. After I kill the zombie. Yeah. You decorate this path. This path leads all the way to the stronghold where we would go and fight the Ender Dragon. It's underneath the village, which is pretty convenient, so we have some beds there. This is the other building I want to show you. Just a nice little cozy cabin in the middle of the woods. We've got a cat and a dog here. Some beds, kitchen, armor stand. It's nice. Then we got a little jungle chapel here. I want to expand the jungle. But some trees just won't grow. Don't know why. And now I bring you to the big project. The castle. This has been uh, built entirely by Just Beat Ya and myself. Well, Pro Archers and MSJJ have contributed a lot of stone to it. Now just look at that. That is amazing. Like, I can't this has been my most impressive build yet. It's been my largest, and it's honestly been the most fun. It's just been fantastic, and we aren't even done. We need to surround the whole area with much more buildings like this one, which is a market building, or department. So, we have a, this is functioning as the realm capital. So, we have another courtroom inside the castle, which I will show you shortly. But anything like if we're gonna update the game rules and like make fire no longer spread, then that is where we do it. We'd hold a session up there. But this leads to the basement of the castle. We've got the kitchen, we've got areas out to go to outside of the castle. And here's the dungeon. We've actually locked someone in here before. Pro Archers was locked in here once. He decided to break out and switch cells. And uh, Awesome 360 was guarding him. Awesome 360 is another new friend. He didn't do too well, but he made us all laugh, so that was worth it. But next, let's take you upstairs. 
and we will show you the inside of the castle. Now we still may need to add some railings here and a ceiling, like a proper ceiling up there. But other than that, this castle's done. Oh wait, one more thing. We're gonna add a statue right here. But uh, this is the area we have. We have a nice little hall or banquet hall here, fireplace, chairs. We've decorated the outside with some benches, some trees. Here's another view of it. Yeah. It's pretty nice. And then we've got some more towers. We've got the guest tower where you can buy a room. We've got just beat his tower. Which is still a work in progress. It's got a bunch of bookshelves in there. But next, I'm going to take you to the Musée Federal Dot. It's French, so it sounds fancy. But this is just an art museum of every painting in Minecraft and its actual name. Except this one, because a sign glitch won't let the text show up. But let's take you up here. And we have the courtroom. So we'd have a ju we'd have a three justices and then a supreme justice up at the center. And they would conduct all judiciary matters. And then finally we have the big tower which is going to be for the legislative branch. We only have two seats here because we haven't held an election yet. But that will be decorated as it goes. So finally I want to take you to a few more places. I want to give you a sneak peek at Just Beat his new base. I'll show you the basement, and then maybe one day in the future, you get to see his actual base. He's built it a little ways out. Oh, poor Archers is sleeping. Well, if I can find a bed, then we will sleep. So let's head right in here. I'll actually take you to Pro Archers, we can meet up and show you there. So, uh, welcome to just beat his base, have some cake. And then he has a bunch of strip mines here. I'll bring you up so we can sleep. I don't want to spoil too much. He's got a beacon here. And he's decorated this whole area. It's quite nice. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Hey, it's... How is he? I guess we're not sleeping because it's daytime. Strange. But he's working with some villagers around here. And uh, yeah, I want to bring you out to the events section where this weekend we're going to have a huge race. It's going to be called the Pig Tucky Derby. And it's going to be a large pig racing event with hopefully nine people. We have eight right now. But I want to record it and broadcast it on YouTube. So if you're watching this one, make sure to stay tuned. The first race will be recorded Thursday night and hopefully out Thursday night. But we'll have about like three races per day all the way till Sunday. And then on Monday we'll have the championship. Six of the nine players will be in the championship. Or let me contact Pro Archers. One, two, meet for YouTube. Let's see if he says yes, and we'll head over to his place and show you that. He's working on some villagers as well. But this is uh, what I my most recent project. This is the field for all the Memorial Day weekend events. I'm going to build a dunk tank, a little piz pig maze. Hopefully other, some other people build stuff here. Over there is Queen Candy's archery range. But this is where the pig racing will happen. Memorial track. You walk in. It's not much underneath, but you can come up here and watch the pig race. In the announcer's booth. And then let's give you a little peek over here. Here's the prize pool. A 
got some areas here, some potatoes, some leads to pick out your pig. All these are still open besides one over there which belongs to Cloudy or Rhino. Up there's the perch where I'll be recording the races. And then finally we got a little system here to open and close, start the race. But uh, Rogers must be AFK. But that's really going to be it for this video. I thank you guys all for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.